In this episode of Alexa Explains, we are gonna talk about a type of tree that has one of the most innovative and efficient growth strategies in the tropics, the majestic strangler fig tree. Let's think about one of the most basic things we know about how trees grow. They start as a seed in the ground and grow up, right? Well, a strangler fig tree has the ability to start its life way up high and grow down. It all starts with a fig fruit full of seeds. The types of animals that would eat a fig are found way up high in the tops of trees, creatures like monkeys, birds, and bats. These animals digest the figs and poop the seeds out. From way up high where those animals like to hang out, that means it is pretty likely that a fig seed, conveniently packaged up in fertilizer, could land on an already existing tree branch above the forest floor. And they do do. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. So what's amazing about strangler fig trees is that they can start their life right there where they landed. Their ability to do this makes them a hemi-epiphyte, meaning that for part of their life, they are growing as epiphytes or plants that do not have their roots connected to the ground. So when a strangler fig seed lands on the branch of an existing tree and sprouts there, two important things happen. One, they start to produce leaves and extend upward, forming a broad extensive canopy. And two, they start to send aerial roots down to the ground. When the aerial roots reach the ground, they begin to thicken and fuse together. The fig tree's name Strangler comes from the fact that as they grow downwards, the fig tree's roots eventually surround the larger tree they started growing on, which makes it look like it's being strangled. The Strangler fig tree almost always outcompetes this support tree for light, nutrients, and water. Even if the strangler fig doesn't outcompete it, the tree is of course older, so it is more likely to die sooner than the fig tree is. And what happens when that tree dies and eventually rots away? Well, you're left with this magnificent hollow matrix of fused roots, and you can see the shape of where the original tree used to be in the hollow center that is left over. So let's make sure we get things straight. While strangler fig trees are certainly considered harmful to the trees that they grow on, they do not directly steal nutrients from those trees. They simply use them as a leg up to reach sunlight at an early age. And sunlight, like nutrients, is considered a limiting factor to growth in dense forests. With just a small percentage of sunlight reaching the forest floor, having this ability to grow as a hemi-epiphyte allows these strangler fig trees to free themselves of this limitation. And this growth strategy is one of the keys to why they are so successful and abundant in tropical forests. There are about 850 species of fig trees in the genus Ficus in the world, but not all species of Ficus have this strangling ability. Even fig trees that do have it don't necessarily use it. There are cases where strangler fig seeds may land on the ground in a patch of sunlight with enough nutrients, and in that case, they can grow from the ground, no problem. There is something really weird that happens too though from time to time. Strangler fig trees have this unexplained ability to recognize other strangler fig trees, even if they are a different species. So if two different types of strangler fig trees land on the same host tree, they have the ability to fuse together as one and share a vascular system or the nutrient transport system of plants. These individual trees might still reproduce separately, producing crops of fig fruits at different times during the year, but their aerial roots are all fused together. And also the hollow crevice centers of strangler fig trees make them a really important refuge for many types of animals, from porcupines to snakes to tarantulas to funnel web spiders. Fig trees can produce fruit and lots of it, tons of times, more than once a year. And they provide nutrition when other food resources in the forest might be scarce. And so these factors combine to make strangler fig trees an incredibly important part of tropical ecosystems. Did you like the video? Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all the others. We put up a new English language video on the first and third Friday of every month. Are you still feeling curious? Come travel with us in person and learn more about this planet and the people, plants, and animals that call it home. Check out humannatureexpeditions.com to get a glimpse of the types of trips we have to offer.